All right, we are back. We have not done a little CPU mining profitability update in a little bit. Uh, let's go see what is happening. Uh, but first, what is going on today? Uh, what day is today, man? I have no idea. A uh, 27. 27 February. Let's get this month over with. Boom. All right, let's go. Uh, wait, 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 what do we got? We got the old Bitcoin, whopping Bitcoin, man. I'm so glad. I dumped all my other crap coins for Bitcoin. Swapped them, got rid of that crap Litecoin. What a turd, lost on that. Ethereum, boom, gone, history, boom, Bitcoin. For the win, big daddies. Anyway, watching the old Bitcoin go up and down over here on the right with my old GDAX app. You, gotta, you can run this thing, but it sucks. Memory off your browser and computer you will notice a performance degradation when you run this puppy, man. But look at it, we're up. We are up as of 7.30 a.m. today. Boom, now we're down with the old Ricky Candles. Dropping down Ricky Candles from Bitcoin Ben days. Yeah, want to buy a used car? Go to Ricky Candles. There we go. All right, up and down, up and down. Up, see, down, see. It just keeps going. It's pretty wild, man. What is, what is going on? I sat here for a little bit going, I need to understand why it is doing this. It makes no sense to me. You got a volume spike right here. Boom. Runs it up before, right? Boom. Are people dumping it? A lot of sell orders. And then the volumes, you know, kind of is still high. Then it kind of just levels off and boom, big volume spike runs up and then dumps again. Come on. I need to know more about what's, what is going on. Someone explain this to me. I don't know. Does anybody know? Or is it just some random? number generator right who who knows man anyway what else have i done i've been buying the um fbtc fidelity wise origin bitcoin fund etf why am i doing this i bought in when it first came out man like at 42 like right here boom look at look at big daddy right here big daddy buys right at the high Woo! right when it opens of course it tanks down and you go okay that was stupid but, you know, it's only a couple bucks and you're going, oh, I love seeing negative numbers. It makes me feel human. Yeah. It seems whenever I buy a stock, it, it corrects 20%. It just seems to be the norm. But then I held on. You just, best thing to do with your freaking investments is don't touch them at all sometimes. I made a mistake of dumping NVIDIA way too early. Man, I'd be a multimillionaire now. Dummy, dummy, dummy. Do as I say, don't as I do, right? Uh, so we came back up on FBTC. Boom, big all-time high. Hit, hit 50 bucks today. So what I did, I bought in yesterday about right here. And my goal is I'm not being charged fees or anything until August. They, uh, Fidelity will turn on their fees for this ETF. So right now it's, it's have fun, let's go. Party's on. So I've been buying and I've been dumping. If it goes up, I have a set price I want to go to on this uh, BTC since it mirrors Bitcoin, and if I get a couple bucks, boom, I dump it. Don't worry about taxes because why? I'm doing it through an IRA, right? So I'm buying it, dumping it, boom, rinse and repeat. Because with the Bitcoin guys, if anything, you're gonna get this. You're gonna get these ups and downs, up and ups and downs. You know what I mean? And that that is just the behavior of this puppy. And uh, my problem is I'm I'm kind of torn because I like to hold and hold and hold. But then you're also leaving profits on the table because it does go up, take profits, boom, let it come back down, buy back in on those profits and you start accumulating and playing with house money. And you could always lose everything, right? What do I know? I'm an idiot. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing at PTC, man. I'm just buying it. And I think I'm gonna set a sell order at 50 and then I'll get a few bucks out of there to pay a few bills. And then, um, nah, not, I can't touch it. But anyway, I'll take the money accumulated wait for another trough here, another dip, and then maybe just buy back in, rinse and repeat. It's a risk, it's a high risk, but right now Dow's going down, the economy's teetering on total collapse. Uh, they keep kicking the can down the road, massive layoffs everywhere. So where did, I sh where did I have this, man? I had the news up somewhere. Was it up here on the Dow? Dow is down 142, big deal. Uh, where is there's something about layoffs, which surprised me. They're, I mean, they're everywhere, not just tech, man. If you are in tech, it's over, Johnny. You better go learn how to do a coffee or something. Um, oh, there was something about Sony PlayStation is laying off like a thousand or so. It's ridiculous. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Maybe it was NASDAQ. 
Let's see, Big Daddy. Come on, do 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 do. What are we doing? Why is it so slow, man? Ow. Uh, I don't. Know. You gotta watch these news. This is an Apple News Reader, and it's very biased. Uh, they always have a narrative. You gotta, you guys, you gotta learn to read through the crap. And they're pushing jobs and all this stuff. Layoffs are rampant, man. We are in trouble. If you can't see what's going on with the high cost of food, gas, homeowners insurance, auto insurance. Uh, if you live in stupid HOAs, the uh, the devil's tool, they are putting special assessment fees every freaking month. They're trying to take every dollar out of you they can. Um, tax returns are pro tax return refunds are lower than they've been in a long time. Uh, what else is bad? Food, gas, utilities, got electric electricity is not too bad yet, but they are adding all these little extra line items to your bill if you look. Uh, if you have any subscriptions, you do not use Prime, Amazon Prime, get rid of it. Because Amazon Prime now on videos are putting in commercials. Why are you paying for Prime to get shipping you're going to get in two days anyway? Just cut out the Prime. It's not worth it. You can also almost buy the same stuff elsewhere online for less. <clears throat> Why is that? Because Amazon resellers, retailers, merchants have to jack their prices up because Bezos loves to charge lots of fees to sell on his platform. So they have to correct accordingly to make money. All right, enough of that crap. Just showing you how the world works, guys. So that's why I'm doing this little FBTC right now. Buying in. Uh, I do Bitcoin, but I do not want to work on these exchanges like crappy Coinbase or or what's the other one? Kraken. I don't want to be on exchanges with my cash. It's way, way too risky. The problem with FBTC, it does lag a little bit behind the Bitcoin. And uh, you can only trade it during normal uh, stock trading hours, non-holiday. So it is, you are kind of very hindered by that, which kind of sucks because Bitcoin's awesome. You can trade it any day. You can mine it all the time. It's just a win. Anyway, enough of that. We're going up. We're going down. Let's go over to the real juice. The juice on mining. Been mining for two weeks now, up to 127 fiat US. Uh, got 0, 0.0. What is that? Too many zeros. 0 0.00223877 been running it's been doing really decent not awesome but decent for cpu mining uh i've been having network issues because these idiots in my neighborhood everyone has to get fi a fiber now <laughs> you know i was the first one to get att fiber and it's ran for like a year and a half flawlessly now all these other idiots they have to get it because they kick comcast to the curb and then these uh these att guys come in and cut everything break things and then you got downtown guys digging holes and cutting cables it's like man i get these outages on my freaking uh fiber which i paid for one gigabyte mm, a massive speed baby uh but it's been going out when that goes out the miners kind of go toes up and causes some hiccup for me and i have to go in and maybe recorrect the miner or restart it then i think i had a power hit this morning because my rigs were down. I might have screwed something up. I don't know. Or uh, who knows? Who knows what's going on? So I had to restart the rigs this morning. That was a weird thing. It was so quiet here. It didn't hit. It didn't dawn on me. Why is it so quiet in the server room, in the Borg CPU rack room? And then I said, oh, the rigs are off. That's pretty amazing. So there you go. All right. So here we're not looking too shabby. And you can actually now go over to each rig. There's my little Ryzen 5. It's not much, guys. I'm sure some of you guys have more beefy, juicier CPUs. But who cares? This is what I do. It's for fun. It's a couple bucks a month. I do not sell it. I keep the Bitcoin and I put it to my wallet. And I just keep accumulating because I'm not touching this crap for a while, man. You know, I think it's just going to keep going up. That's my uneducated opinion for entertainment. <laughs> I can't even speak. For entertainment purposes only, do not listen to any YouTube idiot on financial advice, retirement advice, uh, buying a house advice. You got to know what's right. And uh, having said that, do not even listen to lawyers or consultants. These idiots, man, I, I've, had, I've hired lawyers in the past and they don't even tell you the stuff you got to watch out for. You really need to be your own freaking critical thinking person and go, what if, what if? Ask questions. Do not rely on others, even if you're paying them. And never go to a financial planner, a financial advisor, CFP, CFRP, Wealth Advice. Stay away, guys. Get online. Start reading articles. Investopedia is a good place to start. Arm yourself with some intelligence, man. Otherwise, people will just take advantage of you, take your money. 
nobody cares more about your money than you do. Remember that. And it's true. I'm not just putting out sayings. All right, 35 cents on this rig. Let's just rip through this. This is getting boring now. 88 cents. This is all before E, B E, before electricity cost. Back, back, before electricity cost. 86. So these are all the, the older 3900Xs. They work pretty good. But again, people have spent hundreds more on nicer CPUs, which are probably making more money. But these are all paid for, Big Daddy. So I'm not worried about it. I've got my money back over the years with these things. So this one's 79 cents. Uh, they all dialed in for as far as I care. I mean, if I wanted to, I could add more memory or to some of these rigs, but I just don't want to spend the money. Why spend the money when it's running fine? Just to make a couple extra pennies. And you may not even make that because uh, as you look at the mining, it can go up, it can go down, it can go sideways or do nothing at all. This isn't bad. It's been it's been about seven, eight bucks, so that's not bad. This is since I've restarted the rigs. Uh, let me know what you guys are doing. Are you guys CPU mining, GPU mining? I do have a GPU hooked up. I made a video about is the juice worth the squeeze? It is not. My guy thing was noisy hot and it was making 30 cents mining on nice. I said, what a waste. Turned it off. It's just hanging there off the board rack. Uh, I'm sorry. I've, I'm done with GPU mining, man. It just, it was interesting to come up to speed, learn the tech, learn the crypto ecosystem, learn all the mining pools, just learn everything, man. I got immersed in it. Blah. And uh, yeah, in the end, it was like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> and uh, that's what I think that, like I said, back in November, right before Thanksgiving, I saw the CPU mining went up on one of my rigs. I turned one on, went, wow, all right, this may pay for a couple turkeys. So fire to back up. This is the easiest button ever. Nice hash. Boom. I made other videos recently. You can look on trying to do solo mining, Zerg pole, all chasing that, chasing that elusive coin. It's just too much work, too much hassle for what it was worth. For me, this is perfect. And that's why I make these little videos uh, just for fun, man. I'm not even monetized. So, hey, if you want to like, subscribe, go ahead. Uh, what else is going on? Let's see, what else can I bore you with? 12 minutes. That's enough. There were, there's where we are running. Temps are good. Hash is all right, man. Whatever. It is what it is. It's better than making $3. So, <laughs> I mean, we're up to that. Again, I'm not selling that to get US dollars. Screw that. I just want to get this number up and keep my Bitcoin pile. The old Bitcoin Satoshi's uh, kind of stacking up there for the, for the inevitable. I mean, look at this, guys. We're still coming up on the having. Look it up. Do uh, Bitcoin have and having, having, whatever you want to call it. It's where they reduce the minor fees and blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can read more about it. It's not that difficult. But again, that's coming up mid April. A lot of crap happening in March and April. So the banking issues are coming up. So watch the economy then for the bank stuff. Uh, Fed is up to stuff. Who knows, man? I don't know if they're doing it by design to collapse the economy or who knows anymore. We're just pawns in the game of life. And it's a big club and we ain't in it, right? So, yeah, we got this going on. I lost my train of thought as always. Let's see, FBTC, uh, holding 49.84. I think I might dump if it hit, gets back up a little above 50 because that looks to me like an all-time high recently. And then uh, I don't know why it's showing above 51. There's no way it was above 51. Uh, yeah, 50.18. 50, 50 and I, I'm starting to learn with this crap. Sometimes if you do get an all-time high for a day or so, maybe you just say, screw it. I got, I got a couple bucks in my pocket to ching it out because you almost always will get a pullback. I don't know because then people take profits and it dumps. Maybe you buy it back in. I don't know. What's the game, man? Somebody tell me. You know, this beat's working for a living. And you could lose money, though. So who knows? Who knows how it works? Right now, it's only small pennies. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's how I'm gaming the system right now. And uh, if you can do this stuff through an IRA or Roth account, guys, more power to you. You won't be able to touch your money, but you're growing your money for the future when you can access it as your retirement. Um, yeah, you're not incurring any of these uh, long, short-term capital game crap. And like I said, with this ETF, there are no fees until August because uh, they're trying to get people to dump lots of money into it, make it attractive, and uh, make, it, uh, make it a nice little ETF for the, uh, who is this? Vanguard of Fidelity. I don't even know who, who runs anything anymore. Yeah, so what are we at? That's it. I'm out. Uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Are you guys still mining? 
not bad. I mean, again, this is looking pretty all right. So go forth, keep mining. Don't buy hardware unless you can get it dirt cheap on eBay or through a through a neighbor or something like that. And uh, get some AMDs if you can, and some good memory DDR4, 30, 3200, 3600, something like that. It's all in some old videos I put together on uh, what I have running. And uh, yeah, I'm not the best at this. Obviously, this is, I'm just documenting the journey. Because sometimes the journey is better than the destination, whatever that stupid saying is. You know what I mean? Sometimes I just want to get to the destination. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. All right, on that, I'm out. Boom.